evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Your name is Loser. Your name is Shut the Fuck Up. Make my dinner. Take it out. Take it out. I'll hold on to him. Now take out the splitter. <laughs> Put, no, actually put them out. I want to cuddle. Stop it! Alright, one thing at a time. Come on over. You block nothing. That attack fucks people up. Ah, good work, good work. Well, I actually started trying. Oh. Uh, we need to get this item. This uh, game wouldn't tell you, but you want to drop down there. Come on up! I know you want to. Black Knight, show yourself. How did he come find you last time? He probably tracked me while I was up there. Oh, okay. I want to parry him. Got the partial. Brief respite. Parry time. <sighs> feels good. It feels good. Got the shield! I'm trying to imagine what it would be like if your dinosaurs from Ark started following you through Dark Souls. What? The fuck are you talking about? Uh, you, if you don't know, you should go watch my Ark playthrough. <laughs> Shameless plug, man. I'm trying to run a business, damn it! Hashtag shameless plug. Alright. Uh, why do you say that my, uh, my di uh, dino friends, my prehistoric creatures should be following me around in this game? Well, it was more just I was thinking earlier it'd be kind of funny if Ark could offer some feature where they could just follow you into all your different games. That sounds stupid. You want to go through this area? And get this item. I mean, it would provide you with all new ways for you to kill off your dinosaur friends. Oh, so that's the reason. Hi, friend. Might as well be. Oh, there was a special on The Current this morning that was talking about how there's more dinosaur discoveries being made every day. Yep. I heard a really stupid argument the other day about how dinosaurs don't really exist. They're not real. What? The argument was is that if they did exist at one time, then we would find their bones everywhere and their f and whatnot. Like but, literally but, everywhere. But, but we did find them everywhere. Well, yes and no is the thing. We find them in particular places that had the right conditions for fossils to be made. Well, yeah, I mean, besides that part. Because a statement like that comes from a misunderstanding of how fossils are made or understanding of how the world works in general. Like, it falls under the preconception that the world does not change. Like, continents do not move. Well, that really doesn't have much to do with it. Yeah, it does. Fossils could end up uh, under water, for all we know, because the continent shift right under them and water filled in in places. Well, yeah, but at the same time, I... Uh, yeah. What? Okay. We do find 
a lot of fossils, though, in most places. Yeah, but in comparison to the millions of years of how long those creatures existed, we are finding maybe 99... We are finding maybe, like, a 0.1% of all of it. Well, yeah. Because so much of it was destroyed, moved around, or completely... Uh, or just not fossilized at all. Well, there aren't even human bones everywhere. Excuse me? Like, fossilized human bones? Well, the thing is, is, like, not all human bones will become fossilized. And... Eh. I guess if you put it like that, maybe. Like... I don't know. It just strikes me that... I don't know. But I'm deconstructing my creationist upbringing, so... I'm probably going to come out to my mother soon as an evolutionist. She oh, asked me man. If, she thought that if I still thought that organic was important. What? I asked her what current affairs she was interested in talking about, and apparently trying to reduce the qualifications for something to be categorized as organic is what she wanted to talk about. What, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, there's a lot of legal loophole, uh, legal hoops you have to jump through to get something to be certified organic. And companies are always trying to get those standards lowered. And while I feel... Companies are trying to lower it, you mean? Yeah. So what does... Okay, I, I fail to see why. Why would the companies want to lower the qualification of what makes something organic? So that they don't have to do anything to be certified organic, and then no one will realize that... Oh, you mean organic foods? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant like, oh... Well, like, these particular people don't count as organic and whatnot, so no. they have to be uh, purged, as it no, were. No, no, as in organic food. I thought you were talking about some kind of communist manifesto bullshit. Alright, recognize uh, this place? I actually do want to read the communist, uh, communist manifesto. Yeah, remember this place? No. Yeah, you do. It's one of the most memorable places in all of Dark Souls. Dark Room. Ash Lake. It's supposed to be a part of it. It's supposed to show... Like, I've showed how Tomb of the Giants and all of the kind of locations kind of have visual details that let you know, like, these are connected. These are all in the same world, and you can see them together. Also... Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. Got Paladin Re Leroy. Leroy is going to be our ticket. We need Leroy. Hi, Leroy. Ah... Leroy, why do you have such a shitty weapon? There you go. Good boy, Leroy. Yeah. More humanity. Some more. The Grant and the Sanctus. We're gonna need his armor later, by the way. Okay. We need it. Let's go down here. Shall we? Sure. How much longer? How much longer is what? Until we get to the bottom? Like the end of the Tomb of the Giants? Or you mean the episode? The episode. It's only been eight minutes. Feels like so much longer. Only because we've recorded the other two before this. Oh, well, that's exciting. We've been here before, haven't we? No, we haven't. This oh. is entirely new. I thought I remembered being around a bunch of kneeling skeletons. Yeah, they're all over the place. Also, uh, prepare mentally prepare yourself for the next part. Also, Pinwheel is back. I, I like that aesthetic. Yeah, it's one that a lot of people like. Not a great boss, though. Uh, Does he exploit Mask of the Child! We got another mask! Does he exploit <clears throat> his workers? Is he a small business tyrant? There they are. See oh, the child labor. I see. I see. Yeah, he is a horrible boss. Yep. That's what I was waiting for. These little shits all over the place. Four things. Is there some sort of class warfare argument to be made of uh, GTA? Grand Theft Auto the game? Yeah. Have you ever even played one? No, that's why I was asking you. I haven't played one. Oh. Uh, I've only played the very first one. I wonder. 
And that could be interesting. Could you eat the rich in Grand Theft Auto? I don't think they condone cannibalism. They do and condone murder. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's wheeled out every time whenever someone wants to make an argument of like, oh, are video games corrupting our children? When oh, really, yeah. it, when it only, when it's all just a bunch of built up hype to make people want to buy the game to some kind of countercultural. Oh no, fuck the media or something. Yeah. When really. White tie night slab. Yeah. What? Nothing. I was reminded today about why people commit suicide. No, we're playing Dark Souls. Happy fun times. Alright, see what's up ahead? Uh, fog wall. Mm-hmm. A boss fog wall. Yes, this is a boss room, fog right? Horn, leg horn. That'd be an awesome Dark Souls boss. <laughs> but fog no. horn, fog wall. No, listen. Alright, listen, I'm right. Fog wall, leg horn. There's a boss up ahead, alright? <laughs> Do you want to try to take a chance? No. Oh. Well, I'll just beat it. Yeah. Then again, I haven't fought this boss in ages. Go for it. Fine. I'm mentally prepared. Rape my mind. Here we go. Okay. Haven't heard of this this guy in a long time. You probably haven't heard of this guy since the very first episode, maybe. Oh yes. He's like a genocidal mass grave. It's Grave Lord Nito, the first of the dead. You should probably heal. I'm looking for an item. As you just, like, roll around. Ah, damn. Whoop! Yeah. The bad thing about- the thing about this boss is just all the ads. Just all these ads. They're all over the place. Oh, roll! Oh. Yeah, and that homing attack is also pretty bad. Woo! Yeah, like I said, it's real, it gets ya. Do the charge attack, Nito. Oh, he grabbed me. I couldn't see. He's not powering up shit. Now he's powering up. I mean, you're too good, Odie. I just have to make up shit. <laughs> yeah, that's actually very good because it kills the rest of his crew. Ooh. Giving you free reign to Brave Lord Nito the shit out of Brave Lord Nito. There. Grave Lord Nito is dead. It's one of the easier bosses. It's kind of... It's kind of... It's better than Bed of Chaos, of course, but... Problem with that... Yeah, Lord Soul. It's one of the biggest things in the entire game. And... That's it. Like, its biggest thing is just all the ads. They come back non-stop if you kill them. Well, that's it for this place, except for one thing. Warp. We're gonna warp the fire link real quick. Is that where the chick's hanging out? What chick? The chick whose guards we killed off, like in some sort of tutorial nonsense. What? Oh, I know what you're thinking about now. Okay. What tutorial? Fuck that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It just struck me as a very tutorial thing to have you do. You sorry. sorry for... 
Just run away from him. Here's Patches. Oh, did we tell you his name? Alright, learn gesture. We have learned prostration! That's why we needed him. Uh, can we kill him now? Uh, we need one thing. We need one thing in particular. Yes! We did it. We have all the masks now. Father, mother, child. Alright, so here's the thing. Mask of the child is a stamina rege does re stamina regeneration. Mask of the mother does extra health. Mask of the father gives you more equip load. And we can also, you know, live the meme, but it's whatever. Which would you like to wear? Whichever one you want. I'm not choosing, you choose. Child. This is what it looks like. I always thought that the mother and the child mask should have been meh. Shut up! You're not special! Okay. The mother was a cauliflower. Alright, so there's something else that we need to do. See this guy right here? Yep. We're gonna talk to him. Didn't you leave for a while? Yeah, he's all sad because he lost, uh... Learn gesture. Thank you. He's all sad because he, uh... Was supposed to save her, but she didn't. But we're gonna kill him. We killed him because he would end up killing her because he would go insane. I think there was, like, one time when I played, like, he does not openly admit tempt, uh, that he would kill her. Mm -hmm. Except there was one time where he did, where he sounded proud of the fact that he killed her. And I'm not quite, i never gotten that again. Mm. So I, uh, every time now you need to make sure that you kill him at that very point. Like, after Nito, kill him. You know why? Why? Because here she is. And uh, if you uh, left him alive, he would come up here, here and uh, kill her. Mm. Why? Because he's a bastard. All right, learn gesture. Three gesture. There's prayer. I've been looking for that. Purchase item. She basically sells all the best miracles. You want wrath of the gods? That's the best one. Thank you. I haven't seen someone use that catchphrase. A lot of people use catchphrases on the wikis, and I haven't seen anyone use that one yet. Yes, I am baiting someone to make that their catchphrase. Okay. I think that's enough time. We need to head back to Grave, Grave Lord Nito's place. For reasons! Don't hit me. You know why we want to go there? Why? Well, don't you want to know? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Because there's an armor set that we want. Of course, there's an iron set, an armor set. Armor set. Armor set. Armor set. Armistice. Here, have some water. Alright, it's the item here now. There it is. This is what we need. Check it out. Mm -hmm. The Paladin set. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at it, alright? Okay, Paladin armor. Paladin leggings. What do you think? Oh, you do want some more light? I'm voting that we you that we replace this set with the pa we replace the favor set with the paladin set for reasons for later on. I mean, 
There are reasons later on why we need to do it. What do you think? It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Still have very uh, golden motif. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let me check something. Uh, right there. Bingo! See the curse resist right there? Mm -hmm. It's our highest over there. That's important because we the next boss fight is going to be very curse focused. So we need good curse resist. But for now, we need to buff this set. So then you know what that means. We're going to Anna Orlando. You said that as he scrolled past Anna Orlando. Well, we need to specifically go to the chamber of the princess. Specific. I come from the south. No, I think it's just a lisp. I do not have a lisp. Specific. It sounds so awkward. Specific. It sounds very specific. Eesh. What? There's nothing here to kill me. I'm glad we can still fast roll in this set. Ah, uh, this is how Anna Orlando needs to truly look like. Wouldn't you agree? I guess so. Be you know why? Because it's the truth. It's not an illusion. Mm -hmm. So much about this game is focused on illusions. Wouldn't you believe so? Yeah. Illusionary walls, floors. The illusion that you can head roll down a bunch of stairs. Or up. But guess who's still alive? This guy. Strong. Uh -huh. Oh wait, wrong thing. Reinforce armor, please. We need to drop some shit. Holy crap. Um, right here. Fuck the gauntlets. The gauntlets are useless. Fucking pointless. Uh, I need more Twinkling Titanite. Alright, we're good. This armor set is set to go. Okay, so now we need to go to a place that we uh, skipped out on a bit. But we're going to be going to that place another time now. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. We're going to see you guys next time. Good night. Bye!